This is the Southampton team. They're unchanged. And since that victory at Anfield, they've enjoyed four days of sunshine in Spain. And although a lot of the credit goes to their defence, it's worth pointing out that Kevin Keegan and Steve Moran between them have scored 24 goals this season. Manchester United leave out skipper Martin Bucken, even though he's recovered from a hamstring injury. Gordon McQueen, who came back to the side after injury last week, keeps his place. And as well as missing Gary Bailey, United also come to this match without Steve Koppel, who is still under treatment for an ankle injury. The referee, Danny Vickers of Ilford, gets the game underway with Manchester United attacking the goal to our right. They are in an unfamiliar strip of blue shirts and white shorts. With Southampton in red shirts with that familiar broad white stripe. A match with so much meaning at the top of the first division as Wilkins, the United captain, gets the ball back to Orbiston. Played in here towards Stapledon and a goal kick for Southampton. And sitting in the crowd, a number of blind supporters listening to the local hospital radio. That's a great gesture by the Southampton club and good work by the radio men as well. Ray Wilkins. John Gidman. Bertles flicking one on there. And he might get the return for Moses somehow to get in there. But what was even more astonishing was the touch by Katalinic. What an amazing break there that nearly caught Southampton out. Moses was right in there. A powerful shot struck well and a beautiful piece of keeping by Ivan Katalinic. So it's a corner for Manchester United. McElroy with it. Suddenly Moran was free, and the shot was just a little wide. McElroy, Bertles, and Brian Robson. Alan Ball to Steve Williams, brought down by Wilkins. Free kick. So Southampton's free kick, Alan Ball floating it towards Keegan. Might well have been shoved in the back by McQueen there, it seemed, but the referee thought otherwise. But Southampton got a throw. Shannon quickly for Keegan. Oh, a word. Keegan almost made something out of nothing there. It looked as though there was no possibility after he'd been challenged by McQueen, but he was right down by the byline. And a powerful shot that Roach had to turn away. So it's Shannon with the corner. Keegan trying to get the header in, but Kevin Moran got the better of him. It's now with Nick Holmes. Again, the ball played forward and offside against Steve Williams. The run not quite properly timed. And a free kick to Manchester United. Stapleton's backward flick. Nickel, not a really tidy header, but Williams getting it away. Ball. McQueen. Nickel. Wilkins. Stapleton, a nice touch for Robson. Played wide here for Burfels. Now Remy Moses, who's got support from John Gidman. So Gidman. Wilkins. Moses with a header. Bertles, good possession here by Manchester United. And Cook to the defence as Stapleton puts them into the lead. Brilliant goal for Manchester United. Works superbly with ten or a dozen passes. And this is how it will finish off. Played in there by Gidman. 
blocked there superbly by Stapleton. And Kalinic without a chance. Keegan. Shannon. Williams. Cross here towards David Armstrong, but United were lining up in defence to get that one away. Holmes will take the throw. Period of pressure here for Southampton. Shannon getting it back for Armstrong, driving it over that United crossbar. But United, who've conceded only 12 league goals in 17 games, are taking a bit of breaking down. Armstrong way outside the box, always on the up and over the top. Stapleton. Played back for Moses this time. And they tend to be standing off their men a little bit in defence, Southampton. And there's always just that half yard of space, it seems, at the moment for the Manchester United front men. And Moses making one or two really impressive darts into attacking positions. McQueen, who's been really all-powerful in the air. Massive kick there by Katalinic. Keegan turning it on. Moran! 1-1! One, one. Well, that was the most clinical finishing you'd possibly see. Suddenly it was one against one as he came to Paddy Roach. And what icy cool nerve the young man showed came through to him here and there it went 1-1 Steve Moran's 11th goal of the season <laughs> well, he's Laurie McMenemy's mind a little bit that equaliser Gidman then will take the throw It's a good long throw as well. Bertel's trying the back header. And I think the ball coming off, yes, off Nick Holmes, giving Manchester United the corner. So a corner for Manchester United. Once again, it's Wilkins with it. Good big jump by Moran. Shannon only half getting it away. Moran still in there. Wilkins driving it. My word, and it was knocked away. Luck at the end by Alan Ball, who just stood there. Almost got his head knocked off, but certainly saved a second Manchester United goal. As we wait for the corner, really rifled in there, and Ball just glancing it away for this corner here. Shannon that one more conventionally away for Southampton. about being in the right spot at the right time. That certainly applied to Alan Ball at that moment. Southampton's throw with Steve Moran. Now John Gidman, number two. Straight to Alan Ball. And Moran is on his way again. Getting in behind them once more with all the pace in the world as he got the finishing as well. Keegan has! to get the throw. Brian Robson. Go 
Williams, Shannon. Williams, yet again. Keegan, brought down, free kick. United not happy with the decision. But Keegan felt the pain of Moran's challenge. And right on half time, Southampton get a free kick some eight to ten yards outside that Manchester United penalty area. Ball, and Keegan's all right again. Four in the wall. And Keegan. Oh! Up the top of the crossbar, a brilliantly executed free kick. A little two-touch and a curler by Keegan after his recovery. And a glance off the top of the crossbar. There's the first touch, there's the second touch, there's Keegan's curler just nicking off the top. Right on half-time and what an excellent first half it's been with Southampton coming from a goal down to get a better grip on the game thanks to Steve Moran who scored the first goal with some icy finishing and then made the second for Kevin Keegan after Frank Stapleton had put Manchester United into the lead. Half-time score, Southampton 2, Manchester United 1. Southampton get the second half underway, attacking the goal to our right. Nickel back to Kapolinic. They've only lost one in the league here, Southampton, and that was at home to Spurs. Well, they certainly had value so far. Keegan again battling with... Kevin Moran Can't quite remember where the ball was though Moses now playing it into space deliberately handled there by Malcolm Walton that'll be a booking and really in fairness it was one of those occasions when it had to be because if he hadn't done that there's no doubt at all that the ball would have gone on for Bertels Wilkins floating it, McQueen looking to get the header in, and Robson! So, Brian Robson gets his second goal for Manchester United, and the second for the club on the day, bringing it back to 2-2, and a question mark there against the Southampton defence once McQueen had got that header in, they stopped running and allowed Robson to get in there and make it 2-2. So, with six minutes of the second half gone, the game is back level again. Holmes. Bertels. They can get a deep cross in. Robson may get to it, but Katalinic maybe made that look a little more spectacular than he needed to, but his handling again was excellent. And here's Armstrong. And here's Williams. Played in for Shannon. A little touch here for Ball. And the cross in once more. Armstrong was right there. Keegan is there. Oh, an amazing goal. Oh, an astonishing goal by Keegan. I don't think it's going to be allowed. The linesman is there with his arms on his hips. Now, what could that be for? Now, we'll see what it might possibly have been. Certainly, Keegan couldn't have been offside, but Armstrong may have been. Disallowed. A free kick for Manchester United, offside against David Armstrong. 
Well, it's tough. I don't think even Keegan would have scored a more spectacular goal than that. Goal in quotes, because it's been disallowed, and I think the pictures did tend to prove that Armstrong was standing in an offside position, and standing as he was in the centre of the penalty area, he must have been interfering with play. Disappointing for Southampton and for Keegan, but I'm bound to say I think the linesman and the referee were right. Kidman finding uh, Wilkins. Played straight to Southampton by Orbiston. Well, that disappointment seems to have spurred Southampton on still more. Ball. Golak. Oh, getting it through for Shannon. Nobody there to follow it up. And in the end, they concede the corner, but not the goal. Armstrong trying desperately to get in there after Shannon had done such good work. got it away so Southampton's corner put it down there and in the end flicked over presumably by Moran Nickel who made the first important contact there was his header and Moran turning it over ball Crossed in early, Kevin Moran getting it away. It's Waldron again, and now Ball pumping it in once more. McQueen's header this time for Manchester United. Shannon for Southampton. McElroy trying to make the break, but Golak is there first. Backfield into touch, and a throw for United. Wilkins. McQueen this time. A little dummy. Found a yard of space. Shannon looking to be able to turn and United are denying him. Shannon almost got the turn in. Armstrong going in all the way. again it's not over yet a one two there and it might still fall for Wilkins and a shot on the turn and just into the side netting well that really would have been a hard stopping finish and Wilkins was battling away there in an effort to find yet another equalizer for Manchester United but we're right at the end we're playing time added on for stoppages. The ball didn't come outside the penalty area, so that goal kick will need to be taken again. And Southampton are leading by three goals to two. demanded 
did something dramatic at the finish and got it with a goal in the last minute by David Armstrong. Gives Southampton a fantastic 3-2 victory after Stable had put Manchester United into the lead when Moran and then Keegan scored and then Robson equalised and then this man, David Armstrong, number 10, came steaming through in the final minute to put the icing on a most fantastic feast. What a match. What incidents. And that's not even mentioning that amazing overhead goal by Keegan that was disallowed. The smiles of Laurie McMenemy and why not? There won't be many Southampton supporters going away from here with anything other than the broadest of Hampshire smiles.